Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the greatest barbarian build of all time. No, okay, what I'm actually going to be doing is, um... Facing the Skeleton King on Hell difficulty with the three barbarian rage abilities, just as a sort of comical, comical thing. And when that's done, I'll go in to some more serious builds. Um, I don't know if I'm going to win this, uh, he, he's probably going to kick my ass actually, but, uh... I guess we'll see. And, um, yeah, I don't have, I wanted to make a video where I'd go in more detail about the builds, but I probably won't get that chance, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time, but I want to get a video out, so, that's what we're going to do, I mean, that's what I'm going to do, so let's, let's do this first of all, and right, if those of you who don't know, Elective mode is how you choose any what abilities you want in any slot on the bar, so yeah. And these angel wings are from the collector's edition, I get asked that a lot, so I would uh, mention that. Oh, he's already kicking my ass. Yeah, I'm using Ren because uh, Whirlwind is bugged for me and causes me to disconnect. Doesn't happen to everybody, but happens to me, unfortunately. For the most part, I use Seismic Flam usually, though. It's pretty decent. Come on. Too bad, uh, sm smite with a uh, frenzy doesn't work on him, but, uh, yeah. I'm not dead yet. Some lag there. So good. Oh, good finish. Oh, there you go. Skeleton King is dead. Nothing but rage. Alright, I'll, um, what I'll do is stop recording here and wait till they're finished to cool down, and then I'll show you a couple of builds that I like to use. Or... Okay, so this is. One build that I've been using recently since I started Hell. Um, I don't know. This, I don't really know why this build seems to do well, but I mean, I got revenge for healing, which does pretty well. 
And overpower is just another good crowd control. Uh, and uh, I also use Ground Stomp instead of uh, Wrath of the Berserker a lot of the time. But um, at the moment I've just got Wrath of the Berserker on. Um, so yeah, sometimes I just like that back, Wrath of the Berserker, just to back for some extra backup if I ever need it. But otherwise, I use Ground Storm, and Overpower is pretty, pretty ver like varying. I can use what it you can. It, I just find it good sometimes. But if you want, you can use Threatening Shout or uh, what do you call it? Battle Rage. Battle Rage is pretty good as well. Or any other shout, or whatever you want, but the basically the main abilities are frenzy with either smite or um, other than smite, there, there's a one that heals you, triumph, and vanguard's pretty good as well. I was using vanguard for a while. Um, I pretty much always use Leap. I don't think I've changed Leap pretty much since I got it the first time. And Revenge as well, I always use Revenge. Because otherwise I just don't have enough healing. Maybe on normal, I can fare without it, but otherwise... But I don't know. Kinda need that healing. Now with Leap I often use Iron Impact, because just gives me a bit of extra survivability for a few seconds when I'm jumping into big groups of uh, monsters, but I used top lane impact for a while as well, which is good if you um, sort of want to leap in, into a large group and do damage but don't want to get trapped. And there's this one as well, which is pretty good, draws enemies towards you, but I usually use a uh, Battle Stomp for that, because Ground Stomp, that's it. Which has this, Wrenching Smash, which does the same thing effectively. And you can use Ram with this build if you want, or Whirlwind. I think Whirlwind's better, but I can't use Whirlwind because it will disconnect me. So, we'll use Rend, and I'll use, uh, no, I'll keep Overpower. But like I said, Overpower is not essential to the build in any of the builds like it's just it's a cool ability and it's a bit of extra damage and I've got my momentum on it so that it so that it generates fury um extra fury because uh, I usually use seismic slam which um requires quite a bit of fury but other than that now this build here is um well it's decent I suppose. I usually use Bloodlust with range with an extra healing, which you'll probably need if you're going to be using this build, especially um, on Hell and Nightmare because they do a lot of damage to you, so. I think it kind of loses effectiveness after like Act 2 of Nightmare, but it's actually a kind of a common build. I've seen it a few people use it. Rend isn't that common though, because, uh, I don't know, Rend doesn't do much damage. The damage capacity is really low, which is one reason why Overpower is good to have with this, because Rend by itself just doesn't do enough damage. Or Revenge. Revenge does a lot of damage though. Revenge is just a great ability. It really is. Okay, now I use Seismic Slam with, uh, Shattered Ground or Rumble. Rumble doesn't seem like it would be that good, but it actually seems to be kind of effective, and Shattered Ground is even better. Unless you don't want to knock people back too much, because sometimes that can be bad. Might switch overpower for battle rage. I pretty much always use Marauder's Rage with battle rage. Which seems better. So, um... I've been 
unhealed. So yeah, that's pretty much how how to do it, I guess. <laughs> um, with this kind of build, I don't use wrenching, smash with ground stomp because pulling him in is not exactly what I want to do. So I usually use foot of the mountain. If you want extra damage, you can use that one. That's not bad either. But uh, seismic slam cast quite a bit of fury, so. Um, Foot of the mountain is a good one with this with this build. Now, yeah, you can use cleave with that other build, uh, the one with rend. But I pretty much just use frenzy all the time now. It just seems to be more effective. But if you're going to use cleave, you can use cleave with rupture because you're going to be dealing a whole lot of AOE damage. Bloody treasure government. I hate these things. With Barbarian, it's hard to catch them. <laughs> I pretty much just wait for them to starve and then blow them up. More fury. Really drop me a rare, so that's always useful. But anyway, um, like I said, I don't know, I'm not going to go into too much detail, so I'll probably leave the video here. Of course, um, your passives are important to your build, but I think they're kind of personal preference. At the moment, I'm using this fresher survivability because I'm often getting knocked below 20% health, using this for more damage and this for extra critical hit damage because my critical hits are just insane sometimes, so... Yeah, um, but there's plenty of other ones, like Tough as Nails is good if you need extra armor. Um, that one I was using a lot. I preferred it when I had Mighty Weapons, but uh, I'm not using, I haven't used a Mighty Weapon for ages, so... Oh, okay, sorry about that, got, got disconnected. So, um, I was going to say Vengeance, yeah, I'm using Provocation on Vengeance because I'm level 52, but if you're not level 52 yet, um, well, I'm actually level 53, but uh, I used pretty much Vengeance as mine until, until I got a high enough level for Provocation because it just grants a lot of fury, gives you actually healing, it just, yeah, I preferred it over anything else. Uh, any of the other rooms, but provocation is better because you need the extra. Well, I need the extra proking. I mean, I, I need to become available more often because I'm taking so much damage on hill difficulty. And yeah. So, what you didn't mention that, and uh. Not enough fury. That's it, really. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave it here, get some lag, and uh, this video is probably already dragged on long enough. Um, my microphone is really sensitive, gotta do something about that. Uh, yeah, so, I think um, since I was doing this live, and I think um sort of just dra rambled on a little bit and didn't get a uh, whole lot of important details out, but uh, and hopefully next time I'll make it a bit of a better video, and um, I just wanted to get this one out there, so it's been a while since I made a video, so yeah, I thought I'd, I mean, I'll still upload this video, it might not be that amazing, but uh, yeah, hopefully somebody out there will find it useful, and uh, I'll leave it here, so you'll have a nice day.